Welcome to another part of the Core Trust Seal Requirements video series. In this series, we talk you through the new Core Trust Seal Requirements for the period of 2023 to 25. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected from applicants, extended guidance, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number six. The sixth requirement of Core Trust Seal is expertise and guidance, and it reads as follows. The repository adopts mechanisms to secure ongoing expertise, guidance, and feedback, either in-house or external. Why is this a requirement of a trustworthy digital repository? A trustworthy digital repository must identify the skills necessary to deliver the services it offers as well as strive to remain valuable to its designated community by improving its expertise and skills for the future. After identifying the needed skills, the repository must source and maintain those skills, either as internal resources or through external engagement. To remain valuable to the designated community, the repository must look to adopt the most effective new technologies to carry out its services and will look for ways to accommodate evolutions in data types, data volumes, and data rates. Depositors should feel convinced that the repository knows how to deliver on the services it promises, and that it looks to maintain or improve these capabilities over time in line with the de developments that are expected to occur in the community. The evidence that is needed in a response statement for this requirement should demonstrate that the repository has sufficient internal expertise and is linked to a wide network for advice and guidance. Evidence needed in a response statement includes that guidance and expertise reflects the scientific scope of the repository, if relevant, that the repository aligns internal recruitment and external engagement with the services that it offers, the repository must ensure that its staff have access to ongoing training and professional development. The range and depth of expertise of both the organization and its staff should be appropriate to the mission. This includes any relevant affiliations, for example, national or international bodies. The response statement should also include in-house advisors or external advisory committees that include technical, curation, data science, data security, and disciplinary experts. It should also be detailed how the repository communicates with experts for advice. Evidence must account for both the repository day-to-day -day activities and the monitoring of potential new challenges on the horizon, so Community and Technology Watch. A couple of example statements from applications are presented here to further explain some aspects of the evidence that is required for requirement number six. Please note that these are merely examples of aspects of the requirement and by no means are complete response statements. In the first example, no information is given on the range and depth of the knowledge and expertise, nor on how this is included in recruitment. This kind of statement clearly lacks evidence. The second example, shows how an external committee or board can be used as a mechanism to ensure adequate guidance and advice is received by the repository. Extra information that would improve this answer could be details on what kind of expertise the board members have, how often this board meets, and how their advice is communicated to the repositories. The third example shows how a repository can actively share and acquire more expertise by interacting with external engagements. It is an, important that these kinds of answers also detail how these projects or collaborations relate to their services and mission. The last example shows how the designated community can be engaged directly to identify necessary developments in skills and services to remain valuable to the community as it changes over time. Ideally, the applicant can detail the frequency and format of this community watch. Very little has changed for this requirement compared to the previous version of the Core Trust Seal requirements. The place in the order and structure of the requirements has remained unchanged. This requirement is still number six, and it still relates to the topic of organizational infrastructure. 
The reference to scientific guidance is removed from the requirement description text to shorten it and instead include it in the extended guidance text. Content-wise, this requirement now includes any guidance on internal or external expertise previously included on the requirement 5 on governance and resources. This is done to make it more straightforward for applicants and reviewers to locate the relevant information. This concludes the instruction on requirement number 6 of the new Corte Seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all other requirements on the Corte Seal YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period of 2023 to 25 on the Core Trust Seal website. If you have any remaining questions or would like more information, please contact the Core Trust Seal using the email address shown here.